Hi everyone, it's me Stephanie and this is my finished look. If you haven't seen my first video, um, please check out my previous video which is a get ready with me and Q&A session which I answer questions about myself so that you guys can get to know me better. So this is my second part of the video today and in this video I'm going to share with you 15 things I learned turning 35. I just turned 35 on the 21st of October. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I'm ready, so let's get to it! First thing is friends. So I learned this growing up that friends come and go. They really do. You meet a lot of people and people you don't end up vibing with or you don't end up hanging out with continuously and you don't end up getting close with is fine. Friends that are supposed to remain in your life, they will remain in your life. So don't worry about it. For example, if you meet a new friend or even if it's a friend that you've known for a very long time now and you don't feel so comfortable hanging out with them anymore, you don't feel comfortable letting them in your life, uh, you don't feel comfortable sharing things with them and you just feel like generally you don't want to hang out with them, it's totally fine. You can just um, talk to them about it and just let them know that this is what you feel is best for you so yeah that's my advice on friends uh, number two is family for me I learned it the hard way I was a really rebellious child when I was younger and I really rebelled towards everything that my parents didn't want to let me do but what I really wanted to share with you is that I learned that family is everything to me. They've been there for me through thick and thin and whatever I'm going through, I can always tell my mom, my sisters about it. And I'm really grateful that I have such great family, such a loving mom. So if you are not in very good terms with your family for whatever reason maybe you can try to mend things with them and see how things goes because in the end of the day family will always be there for you they will always be there no matter how hard life hits you they will always try to be there for you I'm talking specifically about my family I don't apply any of this uh, in general, I'm just talking about personally for myself, alright? So I'm just going to say that, <laughs> don't kill me. Everything I'm talking about here is just me, okay? So next one is forgiveness. I've been through a lot of things in life, like I have been through the worst relationship, and the worst situation possible example i've been stranded in a different country and i was in a abusive relationship as well so i didn't tell anyone about this but yeah i just want to share this in the video because maybe if anyone out there who watches this video it might help them or it might help someone to know that they are not alone everyone's been through this I just hope that this video can help someone and that's why I'm sharing all this information that is very personal to me with the world <laughs> sorry guys my phone ran out of batteries so yeah now I'm back coming back to forgiveness life is never like this right it's always up and down so a lot of people might do you wrong in life or they might give you a different opinion from what you were expecting and you didn't want to hear uh, bad feedback or negative comments about yourself. I think it's okay. You just need to forgive and move on. Don't take things personally. I feel that we 
as human beings, right, take a lot of things the public say personally. When people comment on something, it's just their opinion on things. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, you have to take it personally. Nobody can do anything to stop you. Nobody's got rights to tell you what to do and what not to do unless you're going to rob or kill someone. Don't do all that bad stuff, okay? Those things I do not agree with. Uh -uh, don't do it. Just don't let it affect you because if you let it affect you, right, it's going to be a downward spiral. You're gonna go in that rabbit hole and sometimes it's going to be hard to climb up. So don't go in that rabbit hole, okay? Just stay strong and just keep doing your thing. In the end of the day, you only have yourself to live up to. You only need to live up to yourself. Number four, goals and dreams. I cannot stress this enough. If you have a goal or a dream in life and you want to achieve it, you know deep down inside your gut tells you this is what you're passionate about. <laughs> it just calls you like this. Maybe it's swimming. Like maybe you don't know how to swim and you really want to be good in swimming. And when you watch videos or when you watch other people swimming deep down inside it just goes like that could be you that could be you come on let's do this oh i want to do it so much like oh my god you're just so jealous of that person swimming that's your dream you need to go and achieve it i really cannot stress this enough if you've seen my accident video you know that life could end tomorrow Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not something that you can control. So do it now. Go do it. Don't feel like you have to fit in with the society. When my relatives ask my mom like, why is your daughter not married? Does she have a boyfriend? Do you want me to hook her up? I'm like, no thank you. I'm fine. I believe that love will come naturally. I believe that if I'm meant to get married, it will happen naturally. It will just happen. The one person for me will just come and then it will just be like a smooth sailing thing that eventually leads to marriage and family and kids and all that. So I'd rather be single until I meet someone that I know I want to spend the rest of my life with and he feels the same way then you know it will just happen naturally so yeah oops that is one of my <laughs> things I learned in life about marriage so I guess uh, that's number five <laughs> Don't feel like you have to fit in with society. Don't get peer pressure into getting married. If it's supposed and meant to happen, it will happen eventually. Okay? So that's my take on marriage. Numbers. Oh yes. Please. Getting back to your goals and dreams. Please start. Start now. Start somewhere. Take baby steps. Don't be afraid. If you are afraid, let me know. I'll hold your hand, okay? Uh, mm, mm. Go to it. Number six, fitness and health. As you age, you know, people tell you that, you know, your metabolism is not like when you're in your 20s. If I eat like I was in my 20s, Girl, I tell you, I'll be so fat. It would be choppy like mad, man. <laughs> I can't even imagine if I eat like what I was eating when I was 20s. What I was eating in the 20s, McDonald's, a lot, KFC, fast food, dessert, everything I wanted to eat, I would eat it. And tomorrow, I would just go to the toilet and then I'll still have a flat stomach and my health would be great, I would feel fine. But no, now that I'm in my 30s, it's not the same anymore, guys. It's not the same, let me tell you that. Please take care of your health because without health, money is useless, dreams are useless, goals are useless. You just can't do anything if you don't have health. And 
fitness why do i think fitness is important because you look good that might be a shallow opinion but you look good don't you think that you look good with a fit body don't you always google on people's fit bodies don't you look at people's fit bodies and you go like oh oh my god that is so hot go work out what number am i eight insecurity don't let your insecurities stop you from doing whatever you want to do in life for example my youtube channel i always wondered how i'm going to sustain doing this but you know what if you really want it you'll find a way you will find a way i will find a way i'm sure of it like I did a get ready with me video I look like I'm going out but look at my feet <laughs> I'm still not well but I'm still doing this so let that be something that you can learn okay number nine being judged yeah being judged insecurity you know don't worry about it okay this is just an example right if you think that guy across the room is cute, go talk to him. Why do you care? If he's gonna like, mm -mm, you look like mm -mm, you not my type, then next, I talk to you. You don't like me. Next, if you are worried about wearing something that you know people will judge you and say like, what the hell are you wearing? Mm, screw them. Just do whatever you want. It's your life. Then you only have one life YOLO number 9 negativity I know that some people are depressed but I feel like depression is a result of being negative okay so when you're in a neg negative state of mind you think about a lot of things all these things that you're thinking about are all negative things right and that's why you're in depression because you you're worried that you cannot get over this you can't get over that oh my god what if this happens oh my god what if that happens oh my god what do i do <sighs> don't worry Find someone that you're really close to that can understand you and talk to her or him or whoever that may be. Find someone to talk to. Let them in your world. Don't worry about what if being judged. Again, here you are. You're worried about telling someone your problem because you're worried that you will get judged. <sighs> Don't worry. Just talk to someone. Or you can even talk to me i don't mind i would be your friend i will help you through i genuinely feel very worried about people who have depression because i just feel like life is a beautiful thing if you wake up tomorrow you must be very grateful because you have another day to live, another day to go and achieve your dreams, another day to hang out with your friends, another day to see your family, another day to do what you want to do in life and that is a beautiful thing. If you're dead, right, what can you do? You can't do anything. You can't talk to your friends. You can't play with your dog. You can't play with your cat. You can't go and achieve your dreams. You can't make another video if you want to be a YouTuber. You can't go swimming. You can't go knitting. You get the point, right? Talk to someone. Let it out. Let it go. Expectations. This drives the same as... Um, Fear of missing out, being competitive. For example, my family have always expected me to be a graduate, to get married and have kids. My friends expect that I would be a popular girl one day. I mean, school friends, not the friends now. I expect myself to have own a very big house to be rich 
all these expectations where do they come from how how come we have expectations of ourselves like today i don't even know what tomorrow brings today i don't even know if i'll wake up tomorrow let alone having all these expectations I want to be popular and famous But I'm not <sighs> Screw it I'm just gonna be happy I'm just gonna keep doing whatever I want to do Which is making videos for you guys To enjoy I hope this is entertaining <laughs> I'm such a bad actor, my god! Next! Sex. Oh yes, I think sex, right? I'm gonna do a different video about sex. If I include this topic in this video, it's going to be a very long video. So yeah, I'm gonna make another video about this topic. S-E-X. I think the last thing I want to talk about is being impulsive. I learn to slow down. Like I am such an impulsive person, especially when it comes to relationships. When I see a guy I like, I'm like, hey, I'm going for that guy. I'm going to try to make him mine. And most of the time, I manage to grab attention and thinking about my exes there's a reason why they are my ex that's because I'm too impulsive I didn't take the time to get to know them I didn't take the time to see if we vibe together I didn't really listen and accept what they want in life for example Mr. A and me wanted different things in our future. I wanted a long-term relationship. I wanted to get married one day and have kids and la 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 fantasy island. And he just wanted to earn a lot of money, play games, live day by day, not wanting to plan his life. And I at that time really liked this guy so I accepted what he wanted and thought that I could change him I guess yeah no obviously I wasn't successful and I end up hurting myself in the process and he's my ex now but today I can safely tell you that I'm glad that he is my ex because I can't imagine if I married this guy what my life would be like I'll probably not be happy that's for sure and worse I might get a divorce so yeah no getting divorced I just rather be single and hence I chose to be single and just go and do what I want to do in life yeah so I hope that this video has help you in any way possible i hope i'm not that long winded and i hope that it's kind of entertaining for you if you like to see more of me please subscribe thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye i just wanted to wear bikini or tank tops and go out uh, okay, I'm in Malaysia. I can't wear bikini and go out because that would be crazy. People will look at me like I'm crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to wear tank tops, skinny jeans, and you know, flex my abs and things like that. I want to be that girl. But nah, -uh. I gotta work hard for it. I work so hard for it, and I'm still not there yet. Let me tell you that I've been through the keto diet, I've been through paleo diet, I went raw vegan, I went vegan, I went vegetarian, I've tried a lot of types of food to get my body 